Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we'll be looking at Samsung One UI 6 in S22. So this was released like few days ago. This was released like a few days ago. Yeah, this was released like few days ago, and it packs a lot and lot of features in it. So you can see the size of update was 3 GB. 3.1 GB to be exact and when you click on all changes you have a lot and lot of lot of stuff so we, today we'll be looking at some of the stuff which are hyped for one ui 6 and android samsung has packed a lot and lot of new stuff in one ui 6 so when you go in tips we can find the main highlights of the one ui 6 so when i click here you can see there are a lot of changes which are the major changes available in one ui 6 so we will go one by one and look after all the changes which samsung has done in the phone so first one is that we can change now the resolution now you can change the megapixels resolution of your photos from in the cam in the camera itself so when you go to camera and you can find out that it says 12 mb you can also click on that and it says 50 mb so now you you can take a photo of 12 MB as well as 15 MB. So for example, I, I take a photo of this tripod and when I go 50 MB, capture 12 MB, I go 12 MB, I will do a capture. And we can see how the sorts difference. So see, this is the 12 MB, this is the 50 MB. So we can find out that it's not that much of difference. Yeah, but 50 MB has a quite more detail. For example, this is 12 MB. You can see that you can read of the letters of my tripod stand, as well as you can when you go in, you can see how clear it's, it is in 50 megapixel. Yeah, 50 megapixel also have a higher image size, so it's 9 MB. If you take like 100 photos you will be like gone for 1 gb so it's a lot of <laughs> memory consumption in 50 megapixel whereas in 12 megapixel it has only 2.54 mb so if you want a higher resolution or higher photo range you can select 50 megapixel for shooting with this new feature the next feature is you can now one tap edit in gallery so it is also quite good feature I believe so you we, when we go to gallery we have a photo for example this is a photo or I'll take this photo this is the place near Mjolnik so here we have uh, uh, icon I icon which is like enhanced so when I click on it now you can add it directly from here so it's a remaster so you can uh, remaster so the AI will work in the background and remaster the image clears all the noises and blurness from the background so you can see when I go after and you can see the effect so here is the after so when I go it is now my no, now more vibrant than before so you can see this is the first image and this is the after edited image so it's very much good and you can also change by zooming the angle you can see it will show the difference see so it's a quite good feature to deal with for now now you can see that we also have security for auto blocker so now you can block the application installation so if you have selected only play store then you can only download the application from the authorized play store but you cannot download or install any application from like usb or downloading apk unless you allow the permission so when you go to try out it blocks all the apps from the unauthorized sources and it also do a security checks on them so it is a quite good application what we say update in, in this stuff because as you know that while installing the third party apps hacks the phone or the data can be linked so i believe this is a good step for samsung the next step is to keep editing when you're left so uh, previously when you edit a photo then you save it so it's saved as a copy so you cannot edit continue editing afterwards so in this edit mode you can continue edit from where you are left for example i go camera i go editing and I gave some 
stickers write something and I save it so when I save it it becomes a photo but when I um, I can come back again and I can edit it easily Sticker. quite good stuff it has to be implemented before and in every phone because it's a good thing to edit so it uh, gives us the space to save the original file so we can edit on the original file we can re-edit on the original file so it does not require a lot of photos or copies to make before editing any of this stuff so it's quite good stuff for samsung has implemented in it so now samsung has implemented a studio separate app where you can edit the videos and the photos if you would like to know more about the studio please subscribe to my channel i will make another video separately for another one ui major update See you in my next video.